Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to discuss which software is good for you, whether it is a Strat Pro or a Tab. So in this video, I will take you to the deep introduction of the both software and I'll give you a good insight which software is good for which purpose. Before starting this video, this video is not for any promotion. This is only for your information. So you can use a proper software and you can use it for your proper objective. So let's start one by one. So first of all, we have few features over here such as overview, primary use and lots of things related to the Stat Pro and ETAM. I'll take you one by one so you can understand which software is specific for your use. So you can download their software, go to their website, they give a good trial version, try that one and definitely you will get a good output from this video. But stay tuned till the end. Let's start. So first of all, if you think about the Stat Pro, so in terms of the overview, it is a general purpose structural analysis and design software suitable for the bridge, tower, oil rigs and buildings too. Okay, and many more. So if I use a Strat Pro because I have used Strat Pro for the various usage and as per my understanding it is very reluctant software, easy to use and you can easily identify what went wrong and you can modify that thing and come, come up with the design, right, and analysis. So it is a general purpose software, you can use that one and even you can get the educational version license from the Bentley and that is really good understanding of the Strat Pro, okay. I will give my bias uh, like I, there will be no any such a you know different kind of observation but uh, I'll give very straightforward uh, my observation for the both softwares right so for Stat Pro it's a very general purpose software and it is really really reluctant you can do design and analysis of the multiple structures okay with different varieties but if you think about the ETAPS, ETAP is quite specialized in the building design, especially in the multi-story design. So now here is a question. If you wanted to design the water tank, which software you should prefer? I think as per my understanding, you should go for the Stat Pro. But if if I ask you like, okay, we wanted to do a earthquake resistant model design. See, Stat Pro also good, but ETAB is specialized in that criteria. So I would prefer to go for the ETAB, right? Now, so I hope you understand what is the specialization of the both applications and how you can mitigate the same, right? So Stat Pro, you can use for the building, you can use for the multiple structures, you can go for the infrastructures, lots of the structure, whatever the structure exists, you can model and you can design. But ETAB is very specific for the building design, right? So you can go in the deep, like retaining wall, uh, sorry, the shear wall, earthquake resistivity, and lots of things you can use using the ETAP, right? Now, what is the primary use? Again, we are come on the same page. Multi-material structures, such as bridge, tower, industrial facilities, like you, if you heard, like PB structures, right? Bridges, major minor structures, towers, electrical towers, all can design in Stat Pro, okay? But in ETAP, they are very specifically focused on the building. But yes, they can. You can. You can. So you might be saw multiple videos like they are designing towers also in the ETAPs. But yes, you can use the application ETAP for the vertical structure designing. But for very specific reason, I will prefer go for the Stat Pro because you can find lots of varieties of the tools more than ETAP and you can get a good results right now key strengths if I think about the Stat Pro in you know, the key strengths so Stat Pro is having a flexibility to design wide range of structures support complex load cases and materials this is what we all about right in civil engineering, if you don't have any complexity, so I don't think so, there is no any such case. But if I think about the ETAP, so ETAP is specialized in the high-rise and multi-story building design. It user, its user interface is integrated with respect to the proper design, such as building specific design analysis, okay, integrated design for analysis and design together. So from ETAB, you can do the analysis and design together. That's one of the very, very interesting things. 
if you ask me like what particular thing you can you are referring so this is the key features that i'm discussing right now so any tab you can do the very specific building design very good outputs okay and it's really interesting and also you can you have a very integrated design such as analysis and design together also you can do the seismic and wind load analysis in the e-tab this is a need of the civil engineer who is going to design building in today era so if you are doing the building designing you should focus on the seismic and the load analysis this is a prime importance as of now then it is really user friendly interface that you can find in it app and also it focus on the building codes such as ACI A AIC Euro codes uh, let me introduce the Indian code okay Indian codes and lots of codes over there so you can find lots of codes which is exist all codes related to the building you can find there okay now let me talk about the stack pro so yes it is a general purpose multi material design application in it have also you can do the multi material design in very detail for building in it in stack pro you can do the advanced analysis design like static dynamic non-linear this is something extra okay now here what I like this is one of the very interesting thing the customizable design checks in it have when I do the design I can't see which structure is failure there is something different very very different pop-up comes into picture I can't see that demonstration from it app but when I come to the strat pro I can able to see that okay this is what is important this structure is failing I can see that structure is failing over there I can get a red mark on the structure so I understand okay this structure is failing so I need to focus on the structure need to redesign need to reanalyze and then come up with the resolution that's why strat pro is more realistic more generalized and general purpose availing software now extensive code supports okay like it supports all of the codes okay including Indian code okay lots of the codes it supports and it's really important now strat pro is best for the complex and multidisciplinary projects including non building structures like I would say major building uh, sorry major bridges minor bridges still structures PB building high voltage still towers and many more things right but it app is very specific for the high-rise buildings okay and commercial structures you can do it like if you wanted to go for the high-rise building multiple structures it app is the best more than site pro okay now in if, if I just come to the user interference of this stat pro it is in a more technical okay heavy text and you know steeper in a learning curve like their their interface like you need to you can understand okay you need to do this step one this step two this step three and here your result but in e tab it is also very easy to use and it is very easy for the beginners because it is having very drag down drop down menus with a very suitable and very limited spaces so both software are having very good interface okay and if you wanted to learn that one you can go to my channel I have my playlist you can easily learn it's totally free of course okay now design codes and standards so both the both the both the software are support all the like uh, all this all this codes okay including India codes right let me just add the India code I missed that one okay material support so yes Stat Pro and ETAP both support all kind of material with the properties, elastic modulus and every single thing. If I go to the analysis type, so Stat Pro is they will do the analysis of the static analysis, dynamic analysis, non-linear and buckling time history analysis. So this is these are the very important thing which Stat Pro govern. But whereas if you use CUDA, if you just look into the ETAP it's do the primarily dynamic analysis which is a seismic wind response spectrum and time history analysis so here is a lack of static and the dynamic analysis I would say right if you go to the structural type so as I already said this is a repetitive one okay seismic and wind load analysis so yes stat pro supports seismic wind and dynamic load analysis but maybe more complex for the building 
but if i just look for the etab etab is etab are having excellent tool for the seismic and wind road analysis for the building and especially for the high rise building so if you wanted to go for the design of the building i would say go for etab and if you're looking for the design of the structure i would prefer go for the stat pro this is my you know analysis but yes stat pro is also good for the buildings okay but if i go give the priority priority for the building is first is etab second is the stat pro and for the structures yes obviously stat pro is the on a first priority now learning curve yes steeper due to technical feature and the complex options because there is a lots of options available in the stat pro and it is it is reluctant to provide more more technical exposure for the designing of the various structures so yes you can learn more thing from the softwares okay that's is a very steeper to learn but if i just compare etab so etab is easier to learn because it is focus on very user friendly of the building design aspects only now design features so it is flexibility in design of the various material and structure okay in uh, strat pro you can do flex you if you have any mixed design you can use that one in it app you will get automated design of steel concrete and concrete like concrete structure composition okay and you can modify that in terms of the flexibility uh, both software are highly flexible suitable for the diverse projects but as i said stat pro are suitable for the diverse project whereas etap is excellent highly flexible only specific for the building structures okay but less flexible for the non building structures now if i come to the price definitely it's uh, good uh, like if you wanted to buy both software are good but if you wanted to go for the you know like uh, heavy structures i prefer go for the stat pro if you wanted to go for only etap i prefer go for the Uh, like uh, like if if you wanted to go for the building go for the etap and i prefer stat pro gives you one year of the education license use that one that is more helpful and etap only gives a trial version so yes that's one of the lack i would say but yes if you if if you are a like company owner you can buy the applications that's very easy okay so my intention is very clear for this from this video is to give a good insight the comparison of the both the softwares and how what are the features how you can use that one and this is all about the both softwares so if you go for the multiple structure design go for the stat pro but if you are very specific to the building go for the etap that's all about this video have a nice day bye bye